Hi guys, I got a 2000 G16 Yamaha here. I added bigger tires to the cart and I'm having uh, negative camber issues with these tires. So I did some research and I need to add some shims to the spring to tighten them up. So I got them over here. The one on the left has a 5.8. I already added these and they're, uh, they're too... They're too wide. I need to go to half of that, which is 5 16 So I had, uh, with the 5 8 I was getting uh, positive camber. And with these, I'm thinking it'll, it'll be just right. So I'll show you how I did it just with ratchet straps. It's pretty simple. It's pretty safe. And I've done this a couple times without any problems. So here we go. I'll first, uh, I'll take the 5 8 shim off, and I'm going to add the uh, 5 16 shim. Okay, first thing I got to do is take out this, uh, this white washer, this spacer. Because this spring does not fit through as wide of an opening. So I got a hammer here, and I got a few sockets down here. This is a one inch, so I hold it under here, it fits pretty good. It has to clear this bushing area, so that's what I'm doing. And this fits, that's a 16 millimeter, this fits perfect in there to adjust the bushing, and the collar here is not going to interfere. this off all right now we got to tighten it up with the short piece I cut this off from a long one because uh, the long one is too hard to work with so all you need is uh, just a simple uh, punch put it through here and I'm going to attach my straps to that and I'm going to use the vice grip to retain one end so it doesn't slip out. So all you got to do is feed this through. It helps if you burn out this edge. Take the trusty Leatherman and pull this back. Another reason why the strap works so well is it's because it's not going to damage the paint from if you have painted uh, springs. So go up as far as you can. You don't have to get the whole coil. Just the top two will work. Slip this in about right like this. One end. Slip this through the loop. And we want to get as short a stroke as possible. So I'm going to attach it about right there. Through here, I'm gonna slip my vice grip on here so nothing comes loose under the pressure. And this side is already. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Slip this in here, and this is pretty safe. I've done this a few times, even if one. If this strap slips loose, the other one will hold it, so... I could have safety glasses for extra protection. Alright. Slip this through. These short ones really work well. Slip this in again. And this wedge here is going to hold it in on this side, so I don't have to put a vice grip on this side, but you could if you wanted to. What's really critical here is that both of these straps need to be directly across from each other. They cannot be diagonal, they need to be lined up 180, otherwise it's not going to press squarely. 
So now I'll take it on the floor so I have leverage. I'll just equally Okay, still need to go a little bit more. Everything looks good. Pull this back. See if I can slip out the ring collar. I see the rubber is in the way here. I'll just smooth this down. A rubber bumper that needs to be out of the way so now we got the collar off this is what holds it in place we can release just one at a time now release the other give it a bump over here there we go now it's loose Let's take the uh, punch out I replaced this 5 8 shim with my 5 16 and just put it back together again. Okay, both of these. I'll scoot this up so it's up further, like so. Now I got to do the same thing, compress it again, slip the retaining ring in, and off we go. Shouldn't take too long. sure they're lining up push that rubber down again it gets in the way here all right I'm ready for some torque shim here we don't need to quite torque it as much decide to stand behind so I gotta wretch it this a little bit more all right pull this out push the rubber in again room here to clear it okay I got her release her again and we're all done now this setup works really well for lighter duty uh, lighter duty springs like ATVs and golf carts like I'm doing and look at that this opening should actually be on this side I'll see if I can do it with my vice grip just move it around because I got the uh, spring end collar space should be opposite of this so I wasn't paying enough attention but I'll move it okay look pause Okay, I got the shim on. I got the space where it needs to be. It should be directly opposite at the end of this spring, which is good. I got the bushing back in. And uh, 
I got these from a shaft that was laying around. I cut it with my bandsaw. It's really simple to fix. This is a 5.8. Some people might like this if they have bigger tires, but uh, I got too much positive camber with this. So I'm backing it down to the 5.16s and we'll see how that turns out. Some people use plastic PVC that they cut. I personally don't trust plastic. Some people say it works fine. I just used a uh, shaft lay, it was laying around. Uh, it doesn't have to be this thick, but that's all I had. It's sticking fast a little bit here. Okay, I'll show you how it looks once I'm down. Stop. Okay, I got the shocks back on. I'm still seeing a little bit of positive camber, but once, uh, once I got two 200 pound gorillas on there, it should level out. Um, not too bad. Driver's side is a little bit more. I'm seeing approximately half inch down here. And I'm seeing about a quarter inch down here. Overall, not bad. I think I'll, uh, I'll leave it this way. Uh, if it's too much in the future, I can uh, cut down, maybe it, cut it down to eighth of an inch spacer. Right now it's at, uh, it's at a 516 spacer. Alright, I hope it helps someone.